Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we are going to be covering test plating. Look at that. This is perhaps the most important tool in your electroplating knowledge arsenal. Test plating is used in new tanks to show if your solution is working properly and to see if adjustments are needed. It's also very useful for a variety of reasons in an older tank, such as troubleshooting and additive adjustments. We'll be covering that later in the video. We'll be test plating on this one inch piece of copper. Front and back equal two square inches of surface area. You can either use thin copper sheet or foil. Why one square inch? Measuring a 3D object accurately is difficult. Since your current settings are directly related to your measurements, even if your solution is perfect, you will get poor results if your measurements are off. By using a one inch copper square to test your electroplating solution, it eliminates this variable. Construct two square inches of cathode, two to four square inches of anode. Power supply set to 0.2 amps on constant current mode. Time 20 to 40 minutes for a short test and several hours for the longer test. A longer test in a new bath will not only show you exactly how your bath will work, it will also remove some metallic impurities that may have been in your chemicals, aka dummy plating. You can tailor this test to your needs. Cathode can be scaled up or down to suit your tank. Just adjust the anode size and current to 0.1 amp per square inch. I'm going to be test plating the exact solution made in this video. Electroform small tank recipe. Let's get to it. Right now I'm going to put the test piece in. So I'm going to test plate this new solution. A one inch square copper piece, two sided, so it's two square inches of surface area. A little clip on it. So we have the stir bar going there, and we have the power supply set to 0.2 amps, 8 volts over here, so it's going to be on constant current when I turn it on. I'm going to come back in maybe 20 minutes and see how it's going, and then leave it overnight. Then we'll check on it again in the morning. It's been plating now for about 40 minutes, and let's check it out. Look at that, it's perfect. Yeah, it's really bright, nice and smooth. It's exactly what I expected, it's exactly what you want out of a bath. All right, it's about two hours later. Really nice and smooth and bright. Now I'm going to put it back in and just let it sit overnight. It's been eight or nine hours since I last checked this piece, so let's see where we're at. Still looking really good. Super bright. Nice and smooth. We got a little texture here on the high current areas. And what I'm going to do next is increase the current. Do that for a few hours and see what uh, results we get from there. Right now we're at 0.2 amps at 1.59 volts and I'm gonna go to 0.4 amps. So we get 0.4 amps now at three volts and let's see what kind of texture that gives us and we'll come back in a few hours. 0.1 amps per square inch is a guide, not a rule. In the last test, we determined that this solution plates well at 0.1 amps per square inch. But that's just a starting point. By slowly adjusting your amps up and checking every hour or two, you can determine the best plating current range for you and your tank. It's been about two hours at 0.4 amps. Got a lot of really good shine on that. I'm gonna do this test. I'm gonna do it at 0.5 amps. And we'll see where that goes. The test plate has been in the Electroform bath for about two hours at 0.5 amps. Although it is still bright and shiny, there is a huge dendrite growing off the side. This seems to be the point where we will get a lot more growth and texture rather than smooth plating. So I'm going to stop the test here. Looking at the test results, we can conclude that this bath plates best between 0.1 and 0.2 amps per square inch. At the lower end of the range, 0.1, we achieved smooth plating with some texture, and at 0.2 amps per square inch, our results were a nice bright plating with some texture and character. An added benefit to plating at higher current is that the plating will deposit much faster. Aside from testing out a new electroform plating solution and determining the best current range for plating, this test can also save you a lot of time after adding brightener to determine if the proper amount has been added and to test out your tank before putting a new piece in the bath. There is nothing worse than working many hours on a new piece only to have it plate poorly. That can be easily avoided by test plating first. Lastly, it takes the guesswork out of troubleshooting. Once you learn to read the test results, identifying and correcting problems is easy. Now for a look into the test results archive.
Interested in electroforming leaves? I have a similar test to help you with electroforming organics. See you in the next video.